guys, as you can see on the title, um, it's another haul. <laughs> I, I'm tr still trying to be really mindful because I'm still in the process of moving. It's a bit delayed at the moment, but we are like half packed up already. Um, but I went to Aldi and I saw a few things and I thought, okay, um, I will try to be mindful, but I'm still getting a few things. Um, so first thing is actually, actually two things I'll repurchase. Um, it's the Lacroix Healthy Glow Retinol Toner. Um, I don't really need toners at the moment, but I'm quite good. I've finished one big one at the moment and have like a small one and a medium sized one on the go. And um, I'm, I wasn't sure if they actually discontinued this one, so I thought I'd grab one because they reduced this one. It's the Lacroix Healthy Glow Retinol Toner with 5% um, niacinamide. I really, really like this one before. I had its retinol and jasmine flower. I tend not to use them in summertime um, because retinol can be... Um, quite interesting for the skin if for summertime it can make it very sensitive so you have to be very careful but i like to use them in the winter time so i got this one it was only 2.99 i think before they were like um four or five pound so i grabbed it and then i grabbed another one of these ones um i had one of these and i just finished it it's the um vitality cbd infused dead sea salt it's the rose scented one i do scent wise actually prefer the mint scented one but the mint scented one is just such a nightmare because you have the little mint pieces everywhere in the washtub and sticking onto yourself as well so i uh, i couldn't justify to get that one again i think the only, only other option to use the other one may be um getting a little bag or something like a tea bag like a big tea bag and then use it for the bathtub otherwise um i went for this one because it's just easier to use and i quite like the um cbd ingredients i used it when i had back pain recently and um, it was actually really nice so i got another one of these but it was more like a replacement from one i just finished and then i got this one um this is the actually let me get out a bit further it's the lacroix spa rice milk and cherry blossom gift set um i saw this one and it immediately um, reminded me of rituals and so I decided to get it and compare because, funnily enough, I do actually have at the moment the foaming shower gel, but the original from Richards, which is this one. So we can do a live comparison. I thought it was also a really cute little set, which is um, easy to finish up. Oops, I'm saying that. And then that box makes me... So let me get this out. It's all like stuck in a paper box. But the box can go to a second. There we go. So we have softening rice body scrub, rice milk and cherry blossom. Nice. I don't have a body scrub at the moment. Um, so I'll actually start using this one straight away. Actually, let me have a look at it. It's like this. So it's clear. And you can see like the little scrubby particles in there. It smells nice. It actually smells quite creamy. It doesn't smell um, too much. I, I don't like it when it's too flowery scent. So it actually smells quite nice. It smells like cream skincare. Then we have hand lotion. Didn't bought hand creams for a while because I'm finishing up quite a lot of them. It just like a white hand cream. Let's put that on. Smell. It smells nice. It smells nice. I like it. Um, I probably will start using this one pretty soon as well because the hand cream I'm using at the moment is going quite low. And then we have relaxing body oil, rice milk and cherry blossom again, of course. But that seems to be a sprayer. Okay. It comes out like a straight squirt. I'm not a big fan of body oil and spray bottles um, because it's always a mess when that goes on the floor and then you slip. It smells very nice. By the way, the scent is quite um, the same for all the products so far. So that's actually quite nice because sometimes you have like a scent topic or it's like a scent th scene for like a certain product, but then different products um, smell differently, even though they're supposed to be the same scent, but so far everything smells the same. Then rice milk and cherry blossom foaming shower gel. So this is another one where I actually can do a direct comparison because I have this one. I actually started to use this recently. And the only thing I can say already about these ones, I find they're always really quickly finished. I started to use this one two weeks ago and it feels already like it's nearly empty. So this is a 200ml size and it's the 50ml size. There we go. So let's do... How do we do that? Let me move out a bit. Um... I think I'll put it on the inside of my wrist purely because the back of my hand has already smell on there from the other product. 
will come out here. Okay, so this one comes out as a foam direct because this one actually comes out as a gel and then turns into a foam. I don't know if you can see. Let's see. There you see. It comes out more like a gel. And then once it's in contact with water and air, like now, it then foams up. As you can see, a little bit goes a long way. But there we go. Um, it's a bit tricky now. Let me wash everything off because I want to compare the scent of the two. Okay, so I just washed my hands. Um, what I actually um, would do is I will smell the product on the bottle because I can't trust um, on my arms because there's already the other smell in there. Okay. Okay, they actually smell extremely similar. So that's interesting. That seems to be a really good dupe for this one. So the whole set, by the way, was um, £9. I haven't seen it on the Aldi website because I check the Aldi website fairly regularly. So I found it in my local Aldi just recently. So I'm not sure. It doesn't seem to be something they produced in big numbers that they were able to sell it on the website. Or maybe it's even like something I missed ages ago and that's like leftover stock they're now selling. But I'm happy I actually picked it up. So the products um, are quite nice. They smell really nice and I'm looking forward to use them. Okay, now, last thing. Um, I picked up an Aldi. This is the Sincerity Pure Essential Oil Set. This one, um, they had in Aldi store, but also on the website. And I was umming and eyeing um, already when it came out. I think it came out like a month or two ago on the Aldi website. And I was contemplating to buy it. Um, it didn't in the end, though. It, at the time, it was um, £9. But I, I knew we were moving. And I thought, oh, yeah, mm, I don't really want to buy something now. I have to carry it to the new place. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But then... Um, they suddenly dropped the price to five pound and then I thought, oh, okay, let me get it. So I got this. Um, let's see. The packaging, um, by the way, is quite nice, like, especially if you want to give it to someone as a present. On the back, um, it has a really good explanation to all the scents. So um, there you go. You can stop the screen if you want to see it. Um, all the scent bottles are... how much is in each bottle? really say here actually let's set it on this one eight times ten milliliter and apparently um pure essential oils with essential oils you have to be careful it can be quite um, triggering for some people with sensitive skin so be careful i will be certainly careful um i do know certain oils i can use like for example tea tree oil um as long as i use it in small amounts by the way, I'm really sorry for this unpacking. I mean, that takes like ages. It's quite well packaged. What's this? Oh, what's this sticky tape? Here? There we go. Yeah, really like um, the box. It's quite nicely designed. I will take it out like this because then it's much easier to grab the bottles. But yeah, there we go. There are the little bottles of oil. The bottles are glass, um, dark blue. I could smell all of them, but it wouldn't give you anything, I guess, through the screen. But let me smell the patchouli one. Yeah, it smells nice. <laughs> so yeah, got all of these um, essential oils. So that's it for me today, to be honest. I will take it out of the packaging. I will recycle all of this. You can actually, it's quite nice to take it easily apart and then paper recycling and plastic recycling. But it's much nicer when you pack it um, like this. But yeah. There we go. This is it for me today. Um, let me know if, grabbed you, if you grabbed any of these things from Aldi. Um, I literally was pure Aldi haul this time, actually. But um, I'm happy with everything I got. So there we go. See you next time. Bye.